Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. I have here a leaf Sumatra. Really looking forward to this. I earned it today. It is a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. We had uh, the high today was, I believe, 62. Bright, sunny day. Got the windows open down here, airing the shop out all day uh, because, you know, I'm smoking cigars and such. Uh, it's actually getting a little chilly right now, but, uh, hmm. I just realized something. If I don't plug in the camera, you're going to lose me. So you stay right there. I'll be right back. Ah, it's always the little things, isn't it? <laughs> so we're set now. Camera's plugged in. We should not have any issues. Uh, sorry about the noise there. Um, it's an old house. Pipes make noise. They rattle. Uh, my wife is doing something that involves water. I could not tell you what. Uh, yeah, so beautiful day today. Really uh, wonderful. I got had a chance to go out for a little walk at lunchtime. Been trying to do that every day. Uh, good stuff today. Day didn't start out that good, though. I'll tell you a story. Uh, so our our bath bathroom, you know, tub, the shower tub sort of thing. Uh, the drain was running slowly so it wasn't clogged but it was noticeably slower and my wife said you, know, you got to do something about that and i said something about the little pieces of soap that she refuses to throw away that keep winding up in the drain and you know, but anyway that was ignored so i got some drain or liquid plumber or whatever we had and i poured it down the the drain and waited a few hours what i normally do in this situation is i do that and then i wait a few hours and then i run really hot water for a while and then i get the plunger out and i plunge it and you know it works out well most of the time well the the drano liquid plumber or whatever it was somehow created a complete and total block of the drain now, my hypothesis is, and I have no information to, to support this, but I think there was a piece of soap in there. I think that it reacted with the Noreno, uh, maybe with other stuff in this, and it created a solid plug, which made it impossible for the liquid to move on. So I got out a coat hanger and I, you know, unbent it and I went, and you can only poke so far in this drain because it makes a very sharp turn and it was not in the section that I could access with the coat hanger. And I thought, okay, so I get the, uh, I tried the plunger, the plunger was just ineffective. It, it, you know, the problem with the, getting into a bit of detail and plumbing here, but it, the tub has a vent on it a drain vent so and, and I think the idea is that if the tub ever overfills the water can go down that vent but the other issue with that of course is if you're trying to plunge the drain you've got an open airway so you can't really get any force down on the drain because it just comes out the, the vent so that wasn't working and I was pretty desperate at this point because I had thought it was going to be a you know quick and easy fix and here I am looking at uh, at best going over to Home Depot and buying a snake because I don't have one and at worst uh, bringing in a plumber because the thing was completely you know I shouldn't say it was completely clogged it was it took you know there was less than an inch of water in the tub and it took a full hour for that to drain out so it was running very very slowly but it was you know for all intents and purposes, it was completely blocked. So I had a work thing to deal with, and I, I did that, and I figured I was going to Home Depot to buy me a snake, which I probably should still do. But anyway, uh, I thought, well, let me just 
see what the internet thinks. <laughs> you know, and went and put in, you know, clogged drain, whatever, yeah, clogged bathtub drain. And I saw several articles that were suggesting something that sounded absolutely ridiculous. They said you pour a half cup of baking soda down the drain and you follow it with a cup of vinegar. Now, I know that vinegar and baking soda foam up, and that's the basis of the kitty uh, school project where you make the volcano, but I didn't think that it would in any way impact on this super clog that I had created. But I figured, what the heck, if it saves me a trip to Home Depot, I'll be happy, and all I got to lose is some vinegar and some baking soda. So I did it, and... Yeah, I waited for the water to go down all the way, so there was, I had, had, you know, was able to pour into the drain directly the baking soda, and I followed that with the, the vinegar, and, you know, it did what vinegar and baking soda does, and much to my surprise, after about two minutes of fizzing and foaming and gurgling, I heard the drain, like, plug, 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 and I turned the water on, and it ran clear. I am baffled. Like, well, not baffled. I understand why it worked, but I'm surprised that it worked. I just, I just thought this was going to be a silly home remedy thing that was going to, you know, be a waste of my time. But it worked beautifully. So much so that I, I went and tried it in our laundry uh, tub, which is running slow, and it opened it up. It's, it. So anyway, if you got a slow drain, consider the vinegar baking soda route. Although some of the some of the articles I saw suggested ah furnace, so I was saying uh, some of the articles on the internet said to mix the two things together before you pour them down the sink, but that's just going to be a mess. Don't do that. Uh, just uh, start with the baking soda, follow it with vinegar. Really cool. Anyway, that's my tip for the day. So I'm getting ready. <clears throat> for this Friday, where we're doing what I'm calling the Windjammer Jam. Got my unopened tin of Windjammer. And I'm changing it. I, it was going to be a live tin opening where we're going to have a group of people, everybody's going to crack open their tin. But I was talking to Kilton Piper Steve last night, and he said that he's read some reviews where it's apparently very wet. So I'm going to send out an email to all the folks that are attending on Zoom and let them know that if they want to crack their tin open and let it dry a bit, that's fine. Uh, just as long as you haven't smoked it, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll trust that it's going to be first impressions. Yeah, that important. We're going to have fun anyway. Still time to get in on this if you want, uh, you know, right up until uh, probably Friday afternoon at some point. Send me an email, kmodpiper at gmail.com, and I'll add you to the, to the Zoom list. Uh, but it's going to be fun. 8 p.m. Eastern, Friday. I haven't made any thumbnails for it yet or anything, so I won't stick anything in here. But it should get scheduled, if not by the end of the day today, uh, sometime early tomorrow. Well, folks, that's about it. I told you my exciting adventures in plumbing, and I'm having a cigar, and it's just a beautiful day. So I hope you're all having a beautiful Wednesday and a great week ahead. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Friday because uh, we're going to have some fun with this Windjammer. And uh, it's always, always a good time on the Friday Night Lives. So until then, guys, take care and we'll talk soon. Bye now.